Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. You may have this question in your mind, when is the right time to plant clover? And I have done an experiment this year, and I would like to share this with you. Fall or spring, which is best? I planted both, fall and spring, and I wanna show you the difference. There are pros and cons to both, I believe, but I think you're gonna find that there is one that is way better than the other. Many more advantages. So first of all, in this field, this is the field I planted this spring. I had a pig out here and he ate up all of the extra corn and soybeans that I had out here basically all winter. And so I was not able to really plant in the fall. So once he got done digging up the dirt, he basically worked it up. We sowed the now, crimson clover is what we planted, but now, this applies to any clover seed. Now, if you'll look through here, you'll see that the clover is short. The weeds are amongst it quite a bit. That's gonna be one of the downfalls for spring planting. Number one, you, it comes along slow and it's short, and number two, you have weeds. But I was real happy with the thickness of it. It came up really good, and I really do expect that in, say, in a month, we're gonna have a pretty nice crop of clover here, even though there will be weeds in it. The reason to have clover here is to throw nitrogen in the soil so that we'll have better crop of corn. So that's the whole that's the whole purpose. Now we had soybeans here last year mixed in with the corn. So that also threw nitrogen in. And that's one thing I want to do is just keep throwing nitrogen at it every time I can. Natural nitrogen, not synthetic. So anyway, uh, let's go over to the other place and look at the fall planting that we did. And there's the tater field. I don't know if you can tell, but the taters have come up. There's little rows of taters in there. And of course it's pure mud. We're gonna to have to cultivate it out whenever we can. But now look at the clover. That is something else. Let's get out and look at it. All right, I tell you what, this is something else. Now this clover was planted in the fall in October. I'm gonna say probably the second week of October. I usually like to plant it earlier, but it was there was a drought. I mean, it was so dry and so hot. So I got it in as soon as it started raining again. And look what a crop of clover we have. This stuff is really something else, how it has come up thick. No weeds now. It had all winter sitting there with that frost hitting it every night and some pretty deep freezes to keep the weeds back. But the clover all winter long was shooting that root down, building that root system out, and it looked like it was sitting there stagnant, not growing, but it wasn't stagnant. It was growing underground. And as soon as the temperatures started warming up into the 40s, man, it started growing. Then it started getting in the 50s and 60s, and I mean, it really grew. We've even had 80 degree weather here this year already. So you can see what an amazing, amazing crop of clover we have here, and it's gotta be just dumping nitrogen into that soil. The nitrogen grows in the roots, nodules of nitrogen. So it will be there available for the crop of corn that we're gonna put in this year. Probably gonna put this crop of corn in next few weeks. What I would like to do, if it will stop raining, I'd like to mow this for hay and have forage for the animals, for the milk cow, the, the pigs, just whatever we can feed it to, uh, and then till it up good and plant our corn. That would be, to me, that's what I would like to do. We'll see if the weather's gonna cooperate. I, it's, it's ready right now. These seed heads are perfect for, for hay right now, but the weather's not cooperating. It would, we cut it right now with all this rain we're having and it would just rot. So, worst comes to worst, I can bush hog it and, and plow it in, but uh, I'd really rather make a good crop of hay out of it. But you can see what a difference it makes between the fall and the spring planting. It is daylight and dark. There's no comparison between 
the clover that you plant in the spring and the clover that you plant in the fall. So this will be a good guide for you to go by if you're wanting to know when you need to plant clover. It just depends. Maybe you want to plant spring and fall like I did. If you have bees and you want to have a prolonged season, this here is unbelievable habitat for bees right here. I mean, they can go in here and work all day long. It's unbelievable what all they could get out of that. Now the peak bloom is only going to be a week, week and a half. They're, they'll hang around for probably three weeks if, you know, from start to finish, but the peak is only like a week. So you may want to have a, a fall planting and a spring planting if you're propagating bees and really trying to make honey or whatever. For my purposes, for growing the corn, it's probably good for me to have both as well because I don't want to grow all of my corn at one time. I want to grow some, I want to start some now all the way through till the 1st of June, I'll be planting corn so that it'll be staggered along. So I hope that this uh, information helps you. If, if you like this type of information, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow us along. We got a lot of different things that we're gonna do. We're also, we're gonna grow the corn. We're gonna, we're gonna do everything as far as planting it, picking it, grinding it. We're gonna be grinding it for animals. We're gonna be grinding it for ourselves, for our own food. And we're gonna be teaching how to save the seeds so that you don't have to buy seeds. Because if there's anything we're learning recently is the government can take away our ability to buy seeds. They can do it. They did it in a few states this year. During the coronavirus pandemic, they shut down the ability to sell seeds. What's up with that? I guess they uh, figured the liquor was more important. They left that open, lottery tickets, but seeds, let me tell you something, folks. You need to learn how to save your own seeds. It may be important someday. So anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here. We appreciate you and we'll see you on the next video.